This video is about a combustion analysis problem where we have nothing but carbon and hydrogen. So let's take a look and see what we have here in this problem. We've got 2.5 grams of a compound, CxHy, nothing but carbon and hydrogen, and its molecular mass is 42.0 grams per mole. It got burned completely in oxygen to make 7.86 grams of carbon dioxide and 3.21 grams of water. It's our job to find the empirical molecular formula of this compound. So we start with what we're given. 7.86 grams of carbon dioxide was, got, was obtained from this reaction. And all of that carbon comes from the stuff we started with. So let's convert to moles. One mole of carbon dioxide has a mass of 44.0 grams per mole. And every mole of carbon dioxide has one mole of carbon in it. And all of that carbon and carbon dioxide came from our CXHY. And that comes to 0 0.1786 moles. Now let's do the same for water. I'm going to use this little point that's already here. 3.21 grams of water. Converting that to moles. Every one mole of water has a mass of 18.0. Now, though, there are two moles of hydrogen in every one mole of water. And all of that hydrogen came from our CXHY compound. And that gives us 0 0.356 moles of water. Now we have the moles of carbon and the moles of water. It's our job to find out which is the smaller of the two so we can get an empirical formula. And that one is the smaller of the two, the carbon. So, what we'll do is compare every element to that smaller one. So we start with hydrogen. Hydrogen compared to carbon is equivalent to 0 0.356 divided by 0 0.1786. And that comes out to a number very close to 2, which means that we have two hydrogens for every one carbon and our empirical formula is CH2. It's the simplest whole number ratio of carbon and hydrogen in this molecule. And it has a molecular mass of 14 grams per mole. Another piece of information that we were given is that the molecule has a mass of 42 grams per mole. So if we divide that by 14, we get 3, which means that our molecule is 3 of our empirical units. So we basically multiply CH2 by 3, and we get C3H6. And that is our molecular formula. This is a good problem because it takes some experimental evidence and asks us to get information about what was burned. I hope you guys enjoyed the problem.